Well, at least she wasn't a Cylon. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Roadkill of Supernatural Season 2. This is an episode that had Trisha Helfer in it. Most of you probably know her as the main Cylon lady from the Battlestar Galactica series, which was also shot out here. If I were to say the three main sci-fi shows that really started the whole boom of filming in Vancouver it would be X-Files, Stargate, and Battlestar Galactica, even though I've actually met a few people who worked on it and they were calling it Crybabies in Space. Anyways, this episode is about Sam and Dean helping Trisha find her husband as well as escape this area that is being haunted by this hillbilly ghost who's hunting her. And I'm just gonna skip to the twist right here. She's actually been dead this whole time and we find that out at the very end of the episode when they take her to her husband's house and she sees that she's actually been dead this whole time and then they replay through the episode and they show all the things about the secret parts that you didn't see but the brothers knew. In terms of a narrative purpose, I actually don't mind it the first time. Rewatching this episode, it's not that great. It's actually probably the most buzzkill episode of this entire season for me. It's a one-off, which is unfortunate because sometimes movies and television episodes have that really interesting twist, but it's a one-off. It has nowhere near as much grandeur as it does in the second time viewing. And there are certain films that follow that kind of mentality, Usual Suspects, as much as I love that poster and as much as I love that movie, nowhere near as good as watching it the second time. And this episode does have some cool aspects to it of the idea of a ghost being a resident human and not only being that but also being on an area every year just once a year the mentality as well of the episode is that they have to try and find the guy but they have to wait until this exact time of year but i don't really get it because really they could just find this dude's bones any day but they have to be chased by danger to find it i don't know it actually is a pretty decent one-off because it starts like that with the brothers just coming across it so i do enjoy the episode it's not as great of a rewatchable episode in in terms of such a big talent being in it it's only really remembered for this twist still decently shot still decently played out but otherwise i'm gonna give this episode a three out of seven now i ask for you guys as comments about this episode let's see what you guys had to say Road Kill introduces the first good guy ghost non-related to the Winchesters and is my least favorite episode. However, it's still enjoyable and the cinematography is really well done. Yeah, I'm actually kind of curious. This might actually be my least favorite episode of this entire season. I, have I given any other episode a three yet? Roadkill has a great song choice, House of the Rising Sun, and a good twist at the end, but I actually prefer the supernatural anime version of the episode. But the main thing I like about this episode and one thing that goes missing in the later season is the fact that death used to be the unknown. I like how the audience didn't know if when the girl moved on she was going to a better place or or not and sam only having theories on what happens when you die makes the situation more emotional and uncertain i'll agree with you there it actually makes it feel a lot more kind of ambiguous a lot more of whether they did the right thing or not definitely been soured in recent years but i get where you're going i really enjoy roadkill one of the more creative monster of the week episodes really enjoyed the sixth sense element with how molly is in the accident but doesn't actually realize she's a ghost until the end i also appreciate the episode just jumps into the brothers taking the case instead of the typical research and interviewing that takes up most of the time i agree with you there like i said for a one-time watch the pacing of the episode and how they set it up is pretty decent doesn't carry over to a repeat viewing but yeah i always enjoy watching trisha helfer i personally first recognized her role from goddess and charlotte from lucifer oh i didn't even know she was in it honestly i've tried to watch lucifer i've tried so hard but i still can't get through the first season i think i'm like on episode eight but it's a bit much. I remember watching Roadkill for the first time and being really shocked by the twist with Molly being a ghost and relying on the cycle for 15 years. The episode does bring up death and how no one really knows if you're going to a good place or not, even when you eventually pass. I also realize another reason why I love this show. It's the use of rock music. When the House of the Rising Sun plays, it just clicked in my head and it fit perfectly for Supernatural. Just realized this upon rewatching Roadkill. Yep, I'll agree with you. House of the Rising Sun was done very really well. I still say it's the best used in Casino. Roadkill was a great episode with a surprise ending. Although if you were paying attention all along, you will see hints that were dropped by Sam. The setup certainly rewards with the repeated viewing. Now actually rewatching it, it's even more obvious. I haven't rewatched 
watched this episode in a while, but my god, was it so obvious when this stuff started coming up. I was like, Jesus. Sam is just like almost about to lay it down. And they're like, oh, convenience, uh, pull away. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't enjoy this episode as much as other people do. And it's it's not age as well for me, but that's just my own opinion. All right, guys, that's all for me. I hope you enjoyed this review. Please give me your review for Heart, which is the next one. Y'all are gonna fucking cry and know it. This is a great episode. This is literally the best romantic one-off episode they ever did. Anyways, guys, that's all for me. Give your comments about Heart in the comments below, and I'll make sure to read the best ones off for next time. Stay safe out there. Wash your hands. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the Click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.